When you arise in the morning, think of the precious privilege it is to be alive. We are allotted an unknown amount of time and with our mortality ever present, optimizing our days is very important. Successful people took this quote from Marcus Aurelius seriously, as they have an overwhelming amount of morning routines that differentiate them from the rest. What are those stoic morning routines that you can implement? In this video, we will take you through these seven morning routines. Without further ado, let's find out. Routine 1. Meditation. Reflect on the transient nature of life. One of the foundational pillars of Stoic philosophy lies in the profound comprehension and acknowledgement of the impermanent essence of all things. The Stoics had a deep appreciation for the nature of the current moment, believing that much of human suffering arises from dwelling on the past or anxiously anticipating the future. Epictetus wisely noted that people are disturbed not by external events, but by the interpretations they place on them. This underlines the significance of our perceptions and the power of the present moment. Every morning, before the world awakens with its hustle and bustle, take a moment to immerse yourself in this profound truth. You don't need to assume a specific posture or chant mantras unless you prefer to. The goal is to anchor yourself in the present. Find a peaceful place, get comfortable, close your eyes, and focus your attention inward. Begin by observing your breath feeling the rise and fall of your chest or the air entering and leaving your nostrils. Your breath, always constant, serves as a connection to the present moment. When your mind wanders, gently guide your attention back to your breath without self-judgment. Close your eyes and embark on a mental journey across the vast expanse of the universe. Envision stars being born and galaxies dancing over time in this cosmic ballet. Picture the Earth as a minuscule dot within this cosmic canvas. Consider the rise and fall of civilizations, the towering mountains, and the meandering rivers that have etched their paths through history. Now refocus your thoughts and contemplate your existence. Amidst the grand scheme of the cosmos, this visualization isn't meant to diminish our significance but to grasp the preciousness and brevity of our journey. Understanding the transient nature of life serves as a stark daily reminder. Above all, it underscores the value of each day. When we truly comprehend the fleeting nature of our time, we instinctively prioritize what genuinely matters over trivial distractions and conflicts. Waking up with this mindset equips you to navigate the day with a deeper sense of purpose. Essentially, this morning ritual isn't about confronting mortality with fear, but embracing the present with love, reverence, and actionable intent. As Seneca astutely stated, life is long if you know how to use it. By grounding our mornings in this practice, we remind ourselves to live each day fully, meaningfully, and with grace. Conclude your meditation by reflecting on a stoic tenet or quote, such as Marcus Aurelius's wisdom. The universe changes, Life is what our thoughts make it. Allow this insight to infuse your being and guide your actions and reactions throughout the day. Routine. Two, express gratitude. Imagine your mind as a garden. Every morning, you have the choice to take some time and plant whatever you like in the soil, changing the feel of the garden and preventing the weeds from taking over. Deliberately practicing gratitude is much like planting your favorite seeds watching them grow and bloom, and enjoying their company. When we look at the things around us and remind ourselves to be grateful for what we have or what we've been through, it helps us to reframe the way we think and see the world and ourselves in a more positive light. A Stoic philosopher, Marcus Tullius, quoted that, Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. This is true because gratitude helps prevent negative thoughts and feelings from taking root. After all, we're no longer thinking about what we don't have or what we haven't experienced. Instead, we're happy for what we do have. After all, we are surrounded by things we have now that we'd miss if they were taken from us. Take a few minutes to call to mind three things you feel genuinely grateful for. This could include pleasant interactions with others, accomplishments, moments of natural beauty, or simply things like your health or basic comforts. Marcus Aurelius once said, all you need are these, certainty of judgment in the present moment, action for the common good in the present moment, and an attitude of gratitude in the present moment for anything that comes your way. 
Routine three, journal your thoughts. The act of journaling isn't just about recording events. It is a deeply rooted stoic practice. It's like having a personal conversation with yourself. It's about self-reflection, grounding, and sometimes finding emotional relief. The simple act of putting your thoughts on paper can be remarkably transformative. Start by picking a journal that you connect with. This could be a plain notebook, a diary, or a digital document. It's your personal space free from judgment and external expectations. Here, your thoughts come to life, unfiltered and raw. Each morning, begin by writing down the first thoughts that come to your mind. These could be fragments of dreams, lingering emotions from the previous day, or expectations for the day ahead. This initial release helps clear your mind, much like sweeping away fallen leaves in a courtyard. If you are the kind of person who enjoys writing a journal a lot, you can add a gratitude journal to your practice. Every morning, write down three things you are thankful for. They don't have to be big. After that, set an intention for the day in your journal. Write a simple affirmation or commitment based on stoic virtues like wisdom, courage, and justice. This will serve as your moral compass, guiding your actions and choices throughout the day. Remember, your journal is a reflection of your inner world. It's a tool, a confidant, and a mentor. Marcus Aurelius's Meditations, one of the most influential Stoic texts, began as his journal. It was his way of reminding himself of Stoic principles, understanding his actions, and navigating the complexities of life. Before moving on to the next routine, you should know that good journaling helps you reflect on your actions, understand your emotions, and set clear intentions for the day. Routine four, set daily intentions, not goals. We've briefly mentioned intention earlier, but we had to discuss it further as it is an important stoic morning routine. Goals and intentions guide our path, but they do so differently. Goals are future-oriented, focusing on outcomes, achievements, and results. They provide a destination. Intentions, on the other hand, light up the journey. They anchor us in the present moment, rooted in our values and the person we want to become. At its core, daily stoicism emphasizes the difference between what we can control and what we can't. Goals often link to external outcomes, which may be beyond our control. Unforeseen obstacles can get in the way. Intentions, however, firmly belong to our realm of influence. They are daily affirmations of our values, a conscious choice about how we navigate the world, regardless of external circumstances. Each morning after clearing your mind through journaling, Think about the kind of day you want to have. Instead of focusing on tasks to complete, ask yourself, who do I intend to be today? Do you intend to be patient, embracing each moment without rushing? Do you intend to be compassionate both to yourself and others, knowing everyone has their struggles? Or maybe you intend to be courageous, facing challenges head on and stepping out of your comfort zone. Write down these intentions. They are not tasks to tick off, but reminders of the character you aim to embody. As Seneca beautifully said, it's not about what you bear, but how you bear it. Intentions are your daily compass, guiding your reactions, decisions, and behaviors. They go beyond mere aspirations to become active choices that shape your day. By setting daily intentions, you commit to virtues, not outcomes. You define success by how you act, respond, and exist in the world. This is a profound shift in perspective, aligning perfectly with Stoic wisdom. Regardless of the day's unpredictability, you have a clear vision of your journey. Routine five, embrace discomfort. In today's world, we all yearn for comfort as it has become a measure of progress. However, the Stoics with their profound wisdom believed that an unchallenged pursuit of comfort might hinder personal growth. They advocated for introducing small discomforts deliberately to strengthen the spirit, cultivate resilience, and prepare for life's inevitable challenges. There is a beautiful saying of Epictetus that exactly explains this. It says, here's a lesson to test your mind's mettle. Take part in a week in which you have only the most meager and cheap food, dress scantily in shabby clothes, and ask yourself if this is the worst that you feared. It is when times are good that you should prepare yourself for tougher times ahead. For when fortune is kind, the soul can build defenses against her ravages. So it is that soldiers practice maneuvers in peacetime, erecting bunkers with no enemies in sight, 
and exhausting themselves under no attack so that when it comes, they won't grow tired. Embrace the suck is a popular saying in the military and law enforcement circles. It is usually recited during training exercises or when executing a difficult task. It might sound meaningless, but it's important. Modern Stoics and wise people know that life is unpredictable. To them, embracing the sucks means making the most of your situation. Enjoy the good times in life and accept the setback that we were all expecting. However, the only way you can train yourself for such a situation is by engaging in voluntary discomfort. The exercise is simple. You need to voluntarily engage in some kind of discomfort every day to properly train your mind and body for the turmoil of life. For Cato, it meant walking through the streets in ragged robes and barefoot, despite his status as a well-respected Stoic. For Zeno, it meant his teacher Crates spilling soup all over him in front of a jeering crowd so that he could learn to dismiss the opinions of others. No matter what you choose to do, embracing discomfort prepares the modern Stoic for the inevitable roller coaster that is life. As you start your day, think of small ways to voluntarily experience discomfort. It could be taking a cold shower to awaken your senses. Of course, it is the last thing to be pleasant but it symbolically washes away inertia and reminds you of your inner strength. Even contemporary studies on the health benefits of taking cold showers are more than convincing. Apart from building the mental and physical toughness that Stoics strive for, cold showers also promote fat loss, reduce depression, and lower stress while improving blood circulation. You might try other ways, as Epictetus suggested. Fasting, sleeping on the floor, living on a dollar a day for a week, and so on. You should know that the more we push ourselves, the more we increase our threshold to tolerate discomfort. Seneca backed this suggestion with a powerful quote similar to Epictetus's, which says, Set aside a certain number of days during which you shall be content with the scantiest and cheapest fare, with coarse and rough dress, saying to yourself the whole time, Is this the condition that I feared? It is precisely in times of immunity from care that the soul should toughen itself beforehand for occasions of greater stress, and it is while fortune is kind that it should fortify itself against her violence. In days of peace, the soldier performs maneuvers, throws up earthworks with no enemy in sight, and wearies himself by gratuitous toil so that he may be equal to unavoidable toil. If you would not have a man flinch when the crisis comes, train him before it comes. As you've just learned in the above quote, Seneca advised you to live as if you were poor for a few days. Wear shabby clothes, eat little and cheap food, and if you're hardcore, spend the night under a bridge. Experience the life of a homeless person. Experiencing temporary poverty will teach you different things, such as the confidence that you can live on less, and you'll learn to appreciate more what you've got. Reflective practices also work. Spend 10 minutes meditating on a past hardship, acknowledging your strength and growth. Opt for walking or biking to work instead of driving, embracing the physical exertion as a testament to your body's capabilities. These daily acts of discomfort serve as training for the mind and spirit. They prepare you for life's unforeseen challenges by regularly taking you out of your comfort zone in small ways. Moreover, they offer perspective, by occasionally foregoing certain comforts, you learn to appreciate them more when you have them and understand they aren't the key to your happiness. Embracing discomfort is not about punishing yourself. It's about empowering yourself, tapping into your inner strength, reducing unnecessary dependencies, and embracing the stoic notion that true contentment is independent of external conditions. Routine six, be mindful. Mindfulness has been a buzzing topic for years, especially in the last decade. Meditation apps and workshops are becoming more prevalent as well. Although this appears to be a contemporary trend, the Stoics have been preaching the importance of mindfulness since Zeno officially began the philosophy school more than 2,000 years ago. Aurelius wisely told us that, we need to master the art of acquiescence. We need to pay attention to our impulses, making sure they don't go unmoderated, that they benefit others, and that they're worthy of us. We need to steer clear of desire in any form and not try to avoid what's beyond our control. Marcus also said that it's not the events that upset us, but more accurately, our opinions about them. That's why we need to know ourselves to make proper judgments about others and the various events that life throws at us. 
That's why the Stoics spoke frequently of moving through life with mindfulness. Each morning, engage in some form of physical activity, such as yoga or stretching, to reinvigorate your body, sharpen your focus, and cultivate resilience. Consider the analogy of a soldier preparing for battle. Physical fitness is imperative because the frail seldom venture onto the battlefield. If they do, they rarely emerge unscathed. By treating your body with care, it responds in kind. The human body can be likened to a machine. When in motion, it operates smoothly, fostering productivity and success. However, when left idle, it deteriorates and stiffens, harmonizing your body and mind while fostering flexibility and resilience. The beauty of yoga lies in its dual role, offering physical health benefits and serving as a means of nurturing your overall well-being. Whichever activity you choose, the key is to approach it mindfully. Routine 7. Reading. Reading has long been a significant way of acquiring knowledge and wisdom. A quote from Seneca who said, The mind is not a vessel to be filled, but a fire to be kindled, made it well known in Stoic tradition as well. The profound wisdom found in Stoic teaching serves as a timeless guide for living life with grace, resilience, and purpose. However, these teachings are not mere words to read once and forget. They are seeds of wisdom that require consistent attention to grow within us and influence our daily actions. It's essential to allocate your morning hours to pursue books that inspire, educate, and broaden your understanding of life. This habit sets your mind on a continual journey of growth. In the world of reading, it's often said that readers live thousands of lives, for they walk in the shoes of countless characters and explore myriad stories. If you aim to set a high standard for a fulfilling day, commencing it with a new lesson is a decisive step. Just as your body requires regular and balanced nourishment, so does your mind. Wisdom naturally stems from personal experiences but it can also be gleaned from the experiences of others through the act of reading. The most effective strategies are often born from past experiences and their outcomes. The timeless truth that nothing under the sun is entirely new provides an opportunity to gain valuable insights without undergoing the same trials. Choosing to read is a commendable decision, but selecting the right books for mental consumption is equally essential. Fiction offers the advantage of immersing you in the lives and choices of diverse characters, leaving you with valuable lessons drawn from the consequences of their actions. Nonfiction works often simplify lessons found in everyday life, making them more accessible. Biographies, on the other hand, impart wisdom by sharing the lived experiences of notable individuals. And remember comedies, which bring humor and a brighter perspective into your life. All these are good, but you shouldn't forget Stoic teachings. You can choose from reflective passages written by Marcus Aurelius, the comforting letters of Seneca, or the practical discourses of Epictetus. Instead of merely reading these texts like any other book, approach them with intention and reverence. You might begin by allowing serendipity to guide you, randomly selecting a passage from a Stoic text or using a dedicated Stoic daily meditation book. This approach often leads you to wisdom that feels remarkably relevant to your current circumstances or the day ahead. Once you've chosen a passage, Take a moment to truly engage with it. Read it attentively, allowing each word and sentiment to resonate deeply within you. Digest the essence of the passage, visualize its message, and reflect on its implications. Consider how this wisdom relates to your life and the universal truths it echoes. This practice of reading Stoic texts in the morning helps you internalize your wisdom and apply it to your daily life, fostering a more purposeful and resilient outlook. It is also akin to arming your mental arsenal for future challenges, so you will be fully prepared to face any battle that comes your way. If we want to become true Stoics, we have to wake up like them. And if we want to wake up like them, we have to follow this routine. Which one of these will you incorporate into your morning routine? Comment down below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, a simple like will help us and let us know that you want to see more of it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel so that you may receive updates on new videos that will provide you with additional knowledge, philosophy, and personal development ideas. Until next time, immerse yourself in these stoic practices and let them transform your mornings, days, and ultimately your life. If you have watched until the end, please respond with MMM.
Master motivational mindset so we can connect.